Hey there, Caleb Logic of DIY Video Guy, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a multicam sequence either inside a Final Cut Pro 10 or using an external app called Plural Eyes from Red Giant. So, to get started, you want to have everything imported into your event, and then you're going to want to select it all. So, I have one angle here of me, one angle here of Phil Ebner, another YouTuber the audio recorder of both of our lavalier microphones, and then an angle that is straight on. So I know all of these are from the same video, and if I select all of them, right click and say multicam clip, you get a drop down menu. And so what you can do with the basic settings is just use audio as synchronization, and you can name the clip. So I'm just gonna call it multicam three camera. But you can also go to custom settings and choose the assembly and the ordering, maybe you already named the camera angles and maybe you want it to sync to a very specific marker or something, but this is how you can do it the easiest way, which is just don't click custom settings. Click OK, then you're going to have to wait for Final Cut to synchronize it. And what it's doing is it's analyzing the audio in all the files and figuring out where the different clips should go. Once it's done, you get a multicam clip that's created directly inside of Final Cut Pro 10. And you can see below, you have all the different angles. So let me zoom out a little bit here so you can see them all, all four video tracks and the one audio track. Now, once you have all of these together, you can scrub through them and you can actually see here, they're all in sync because I have that gap there before the audio. And it also knows that, okay, this camera angle is the same and it's together. This is the same camera, etc. And as you go through, everything's in order and you can move on from there. So to import it, I'm just going to go ahead and clear out this project file, bring it down in, set the timeline settings, and then there you go. You have a multicam sequence. So to view those, you actually have to go to view, then show angles. Let me make some more room here and show all four angles. And if you go to a midpoint in the video when all the angles are available, you can see they're all right there for you to use. And at any point you can click one, right there I just clicked on camera angle two, and it changes the angle. So you can go through at any point in the video and change the angle by using keyboard shortcuts. One, two, three, four. Do whatever you want to switch through the different angles and then you can choose what you're showing on screen at that time. But the default way it comes through is to change both video and audio. And most of the time you're wanna, going to want to only change the video track because you're probably going to have one solid audio track you're gonna to wanna to use throughout. So once that's changed and you click between them, you can actually say, okay, I want the same audio throughout. I just want to change the camera angles. To actually change which audio is in the multicam clip, you can then go into the preferences on the right and choose what audio track to use. So, so that was the proper clip to use. And you can't change something to dual mono once you're in uh, a project sequence for whatever reason. So what you have to do is you're gonna have to go back to the multicam clip, open that up, then click on the audio and then you can change it to dual mono. So if I choose two tracks and I want to change it to dual mono, you have to go back into the multicam clip. To do that, then when you go back into the project, you can see there over on the right, it's set to dual mono. So that's how to set up a multicam sequence in Final Cut Pro 10, but there's an even better and faster way by using Red Giant's plural eyes. Now this program takes in all the different camera angles, all the audio angles, just like you could in Final Cut Pro 10, but it processes it and synchronizes it so much faster. After you bring in everything into different bins, it will sync it all up by just pushing synchronize, and then you can export it as an XML file to Final Cut Pro 10. I also use this with Premiere Pro, and then you can import it directly into Final Cut Pro 10 by going to File, Import, XML, and then it'll work and bring in a multicam sequence just like this, and you can also then change it a little bit and move the angles around depending on what order you want them in. So that wraps up this video on how to sync different angles 
in a multicam sequence inside of Final Cut Pro 10. You can do it inside the software. I really like Pluralize, so if you're gonna be doing it a lot, it's probably worth investing in that program. They're not paying me to say that. It's just such a time saver, it's worth the investment. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.